Hey everyone, Raj Diute here for Reckoner with a look back at the tech news in the week that was April 1st to April 7th, 2018. And what could have easily have been an April Fool's joke, Cloudflare announced a new privacy conscious DNS service on the IP address 1.1.1.1. All logs are wiped on a rolling 24-hour schedule, and on top of that, any logs that are written to disk have no IP address information, making it impossible to identify the request. Free for public use, the new DNS service claims to be the fastest available and makes use of the company's extensive distributed network. Apple trotted out its marketing VPs to once again recommit to its long-forgotten Pro users and dangle the carrot of a new Mac Pro. The new machine is said to involve a new team of real-world professionals helping to shape what will ultimately become the new modular hardware Mac Pro now due to arrive in 2019. Apple's marketing chief Phil Schiller took things one step further, going on to state that not only is the new Mac Pro coming, but they're also working on a new standalone display as well. In other Apple news, Bloomberg reported this week that the company is looking to move away from CPU supplier Intel starting in 2020. The move would see Apple follow the tablet and iPhone lineups in making use of their own internally produced system on chip architecture across the board. The move will be similar to that made when the company went from PowerPC to Intel years ago and is expected to require developers to produce fat binaries that would support both architectures during the transition. Twitter has postponed the deprecation date of their streaming APIs indefinitely and in doing so has delayed the release of its supposed replacement. The delay is a lifeline to all third-party Twitter apps that use the API to make their applications work. With no details around its replacement public, many fear the new API will mean an end to real-time feeds and ultimately force users to Twitter's own app or none at all. The Facebook nosedive continues in spectacular fashion, with the company this week called being called out by TechCrunch for deleting messages sent by CEO Mark Zuckerberg on its Messenger platform. Spun as a means of protection after the 2014 Sony hack, Facebook went on to promise the feature would be implemented across the board for all users. It then promised that it would no longer delete any messages sent by its executives team until the feature was publicly available. Good on you. And finally, NBN CEO Bill Morrow has announced he will step down in the latter half of this year. Morrow, who entered the role in 2014, was praised by Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, saying he was a quote, great CEO. Many will disagree with the PM. Morrow was in charge of rolling out the Liberals' multi-technology mix version of the MBN that has rendered it nothing more than a giant white elephant and quite likely significantly delayed the rollout well beyond their own projected target of 80% completion by this October. And that's it for another week. As always, please be sure to subscribe and like the show on your listening slash viewing platform of choice. Ants away, but we have some exciting guests joining us on the big show in the coming weeks. So be sure to tune in for that. We'll be back on deck this week. Have a great week and bye for now.